Hello my buddies, it's Carmen and this is another crochet video and um, I'm in the middle of my munch lax. It's been a couple months. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to straight out tell you I lost my eye patches. I don't know where they went. I will redo them off camera and well, eventually. But anyway, um, according to the PDF I have here, I am on the last round of dark blue. So what I'm going to do is attach the cream and then single stitch all the way around, 42. So, what I do when I combine colors is I will, I will show you. Um, so I do a single stitch. I don't know if this is going to be hard to show you. But when I do a single stitch, I just pull that last bit out. And then so I have this, um, I do a half single stitch. So I, it's kind of hard to show you backward. So, I, I, um, what is it? I put the hook into the hole, I pull a, um, uh, uh, yarn through. This is why I'm not a crocheter. I mean, I'm not a, uh, tutorial person. Uh, because I don't know the terminology. But before I finish the single crochet, this is when I change. So it says to change to cream. So my cream is here, so I'm going to change the cream and then I will use this to finish off my single crochet. So it looks like that. Um, I hope that helps. Yeah, that's how I change and then after m many, many years later, <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, later I'm going to cut this and then just tie it in a knot and I that work that works with amigurumi so that's what I'm planning on doing um usually with like uh and then you just continue on you just single you just keep single single crocheting and um yeah that works with uh amigurumi because you can just you know keep the um loose thread inside the stuffing but on regular stuff, uh, I guess you'd have to, you know, find a way to put those loose threads in somewhere. Anyway, I don't know the terminology, guys. I'm really bad at explaining things. Um, today I'm going to talk about what's been up with me. Um, not super a lot, but I got a new phone. Believe it or not, this is actually a new phone. I know it's the same Mew. It's the same Mew. It is basically the same color case. It, I mean, it is the same color case. It's purple. And it's basically the same type of phone. It's an Android. But this is the Motorola G6. And I got it from... My plan is the Google... Um, oh my god. I totally forgot what the Google phone is. It's called... Fi. Oh my god. Project Fi. So, I'm recording on, I don't know if you can see that. It's too bright. I have 20 days left in my plan. So, that's what that widget says. Anyway, Google Fi is basically, it has, it thought I said hi, Google. It didn't, it thought I said hello, Googs. Um, but yeah, Google Fi is basically, I've had Google, I've had, Project Five for a couple years now. It's been awesome. You only pay the gigs that you use, so I use less than two gigs a month because I limit myself. And um, right now, their offer is even if you go up to six gigs, you don't. After six, you don't pay for that. They do tell you that they will slow down your um, data, though. After six. Yeah, um, I have data alerts up. This is how I, like, save money. Um, I used to pay $100 with Verizon every month. This is saving me $60 a month. And I think it's worth it. Um, you know, you do you, but this is me, and this is how I save money. Um, I also, it's on unlimited text and voice. Um, that comes with Google Fi, and yeah, it's perfect for me. So it basically piggies off um, AT&T and Sprint, 
And this isn't a sponsor, although Google, you know, I love you and everything. I, for one, I said this at work the other day, I said I, for one, welcome my future robot overlords. Um, but yeah, I am your uh, disciple if you ever decide you need disciples, and um, I'm down with you. I'm down with you. So... Yeah, basically what I'm saying is, Google, if you want to give me some, like, uh, free, like, if you want to pay for my, the rest of my Google Fi, that'd be great, um, you know, or just give me, because I basically pay $40 a month, so if you want to just give me the free 6 gigs, and I'll just keep continuing to pay the $40, that'd be fine. This is all, I'm just all kidding right now, but for real, I do love the plan, and I've been, like, pimping it. Um, the only downside is it's not a lot of phones, and obviously you're going to only be using Android, so a lot of the people I know are into iPhones. Um, that's not me, obviously, but, um, yeah, maybe one day, you know, maybe Google will open their arms. They won't. They won't, though. Yeah, so they have the Pixel 2 which I didn't opt to get because there's no headphone jack. And then there's the motor, no, there's another Motorola phone, I think. And then there's the LG ThinQ, which just looks like, you know, it just looks like it's called Think with the Q instead of a K. Um, but the Think was $800. And, um,. I forget what the other one was, but this was 200 so I was like, not too bad. There, the reviews for this were really, really good, especially since they were like, it's a good, high-performing smartphone for not a lot of money. So I was like, you know what? I don't need a lot. The only downside was the camera wasn't so great, so I've been thinking about getting a new camera, and that's what I did, you guys. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, basically I said that I got a new um, camera set up, and it has this cute, um, I'll take a picture of me filming. Um, but yeah, I'll put that up one of these sides. But yeah, um, I got a new camera, and it's the Panasonic Lumix, um, D something something something. Let me see. It's the Panasonic Lumix DCZS70. It's basically a point and shoot, but it has a selfie um, viewing thing, which is all I wanted. I also wanted a way for me to get like um, a microphone set up from here, you know, like just like a microphone set up. So it could be a little bit fancier, but that's not what I totally needed. And then, um, so this was like, basically, it was, it would have been the same price if I got, like, the thing cute. This was like, you know, a nice five, five bills, five bills. But yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I really, really like it. Um, I want to go out and take more pictures with it. Um, my mom was like, it has a, she's really into photography, and she was like, um, it has a really good zoom, so what we did was, like, the first day I got it, we went out and we took some pictures. I'm still playing around with it. I took photography in college, which, um, you, I had to do as an art major, um, but I don't remember, like, a lot of the terminology. Like, I know f-stops is a word. And, um, you know, like, that's a word people use. I don't know what it means. Um, I know aperture is, like, the size of the little hole, um, for the camera. I know, um, ISO is something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I need to, like, study that more. Um, and then the person who kind of, like, got me back into photography, in which, like, my mom, but also my friend Julie, because, um, on the 4th of July, happy 4th, everybody, this was, like, a month ago, um, she, we, she, our friend, Allie, and her wife, Miley. They're having a baby, and they have, like, a gender reveal, and so, um, they did this cute thing. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a gender reveal, but it's basically, like, what kind of baby are we having? Are we having a boy or a girl? And, um, 
Um, basically, the couple doesn't know. Um, my friend Julie was the only one who knew, and what they had to do, what they're huge baseball fans, so what they did was they got two baseballs, and one was filled with pink chalk, and one was filled with blue chalk, and they gave both, they had to buy both of them. They gave both of them to Julie. Once Julie found out who, she took the right one, the one that was their gender, she put it in a box, and then she just threw the other one away. And, um, Julie was saying she was super paranoid about whether or not she put the right one in, even though, like, it was clearly labeled, and it is. They're having a girl, BT dubs. Yay, girl! And, um, yeah, uh, so she and I were taking pictures, and she was really, like, she's been really getting into it, and my mom is, like, super into it. So it's just like a lot of the intuits are just trying to get me back into the camera game. I was really into photography um, when I was in college. When I took that class, basically, I really loved it. Um, but after, it was just like, you know, that was like an actual, it wasn't a digital DSLR class. It was like a an LSR class. It wasn't a digital class. It was like a, you know, you took film and you had to... Um, develop it yourself and we learned all the developing modes we were in a dark room we learned how to like zoom into things and zoom out it was all that and all that went in this year and then just kind of stirred around a bit and then some of it popped out like I know words and I you know and I recognize the things but um I'm just if you don't use it you know you really <laughs> it's really sad if you don't use it you really do lose it um so yeah, uh, especially if it's like not really the thing that you're super into, but you do like want to know it like as a hobby. Um, yeah, it's just been so long and I know, I think F-stops is the number of seconds or is that ISO? I think ISO might be the number of seconds. You know what? You let me know. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, oh, I'll stop. So I'm on my second row of cream. Um, but yeah. So, I got a new phone, I got a new camera. Um, yeah, that's been basically all that's been going on with me. Um, the other thing is, uh, I think the last time I posted, um, was before my birthday. So basically, for my birthday, my birthday is in March. And my, me and my boyfriend's anniversary is in May, so in April, I didn't do anything for my birthday, and we didn't do anything, like, we didn't go out for our anniversary, but, um, because usually for our anniversary, we do a trip. So what we did was, we just combined it, because it's my, I turned 30, I turned 30 this year, but, um, Dirty 30, so I decided to go. I went to Portland and Seattle, and you guys, um, people say you either love one or the other, and you pause right now, and you guess which one I loved, and I'll tell you in a second. It was Portland. It was Portland. I loved Portland. It was fantastic, and, like, just Powell's, like, could spend, like, years at Powell's, you know, um... If you guys don't know, Powell's is like, it's a gigantic bookstore. It's basically the size of a whole city. It is the size of a whole city block. And it's also three stories. And um, I think I only went to the second story, but there's just so much to see. And even if, you know, you aren't um, into books, there's a lot for you to do. There's a great coffee shop. Literally two out of maybe three... <laughs> I think every day that we were in Portland, we went to Powell's. I, I literally, like, I think I, we did that. The first day, it was just um, me, Taylor, and my uh, my friend Julie. And um, we went to Powell's just like, okay, yeah, why not? It's a, uh, we haven't been there yet, and it's, uh, it's high on my list of things that I wanted to do. So we went, and you guys, Magical does not, like, summarize it well. It's just like, this wondrous place, ugh, you just have to go and love it, and, um, yeah, you guys, you guys. 
the second day, um, my friends, my other friends got theirs. So my friend Fung and her boyfriend Richard and my friend An, they joined us. And we went to, um, just like, this brunch is so good there. Just the food is great. Um, the history is so rich. And <laughs> I'm going to say used to. But basically, it used to be a really racist town. We learned that there are no Chinese people in um, China. And, uh, yeah. Uh, me and Richard, Richard is also Chinese. I think we were the only Chinese people in Chinatown at that time. <laughs> um, uh, Taylor's half Japanese. And um, Fung and An are both um, Vietnamese. And I think we were the only Asians in all of Chinatown that day, probably. <laughs> Um, I joke, but it might be for real. Um, yeah, we did a haunted tour, which was great. Um, I, uh, don't believe in ghosts or anything like that, but, uh, it was really, I just love the history and I love the stories and we were all like, which is your favorite ghost? And my favorite ghost was, um, I'm gonna go for the hero ghost. My favorite ghost was the, uh, in one of the, our, our, tour guide was also a skeptic and one of my favorite um one of uh my favorite ghosts was uh the firefighter ghost I forget what his name was I think it was Dave or something like that but he was basically like um the story is that he was a firefighter and he you know like however many years ago and he was um died uh saving people from this building that was on fire and the building was a club at the time and right now it's like this dive bar or whatever and if you're in there what you'll hear is like a like a oh my god I don't have anything heart would you'll hear that and then um it'll be like hey hey there's a fire please get out please get out and then the like the person in the bathroom is like oh crap and then so they'll leave but there's no one around and like I forgot to start it off this way, but the basement is, like, I mean, the bathroom is in the basement, so, like, it's all dark, there's no one there, no one knocked on the door, and he was, like, like, the person was, like, uh, yeah, I just heard a knocking at the door, yeah, it's just, that was my favorite, that was my favorite ghost story, um, but, yeah, I don't believe in ghosts. Julie and Taylor kind they said they kind of believe in ghosts, which is like they're like the ones that love scary stories and stuff. And then um On went with us on the tour and he also says he doesn't believe in ghosts, but he also watches scary movies and stuff. Which kind of makes sense. I guess I'm the only one that doesn't make sense. I don't like scary movies. I don't like being scared, but I also don't believe in ghosts. So why shouldn't I watch them if I don't believe in them, I guess? I don't like being scared. Yeah. I'm an, I'm agnostic about ghosts. If they're real, interesting. I don't think they are. Yeah, I'm like leaning towards I don't. Anyway, this isn't about a ghost story. Anyway, so I loved Portland. Um, so that half was my birthday trip, which is why my friends came with me. And thank you so much, you guys, for coming. It was the best time of my life. I really, really loved it. And I'm so glad I got to enjoy those memories with you. Um, Taylor and I, then we took a plane to Seattle. Everybody else went home. And even though I enjoyed that weekend, Taylor and I were like, let's go to Seattle and enjoy the anniversary half of our trip so um on for my birthday half he gave us city passes so basically what the city pass is is in Seattle there's like this whole like part of the town I forget what it's called it'll come to me but basically it was like um Oh my god, city center, right? And it was like there was a museum, it was a pop art museum and there was um um, if you're from San Jose, we have this thing called the Tech Museum, and it's basically, like, science center for kids, and they have that at the, uh, Seattle, and it's called the Pacific Science Center, and it really, like, I was like, this is basically the Tech Museum, this is really cool, and they had, like, a bunch of experiments, which was fun, um, 
yeah, the pop art was probably, the pop art museum was probably my favorite. Um, they had this giant screen on, like, the second story, and they basically played music videos, and we, I got to watch a bunch of OK Go music videos. I love OK Go. And they played a bunch of music videos on the big screen. It was so great to see, like, giant music videos. And then, um... Yeah, I was just getting into Star Trek. I mean, yes, yeah, Star Trek at the time. And they have, like, a giant Star Trek exhibit. The only disappointing thing was they had a Marvel exhibit opening the day after we left Seattle. So it was like, ugh, if we just stayed one more day or if we just left a week later, it would have been totally different. But whatever. Whatevs. Um... I hope that stays up for a long time. But yeah, you guys, I loved my trip. It was an amazing trip. And I just, but to both cities, I would love to visit you again. But yeah, um, so I'm done with my two <laughs> stripes. And um, this has been a really long, stupid episode. And I'm sorry I talk so much. Uh, I'm just going to end it here, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll eventually get this Munchlax done. <laughs> Bye, everyone.